Yo, what's going on guys? Mono here with a brand new video. This time I'm bringing you guys a tutorial about our recent hero um, presenting the Binance Smart Chain and Metamask connection. As you can see in this image, um, recently there's been like high traffic on the chain. So many people isn't able to uh, connect to their Metamask account, neither to do transactions. So today what I'm going to do is show you a way around this problem, how to solve it, um, and other solutions. And yeah, that's pretty much to this topic. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the video for more content. So let's keep going. First, what we're going to do is check this link that I'm going to leave below in the description. These are uh, an RPC connection for Meta for Binance Smart Chain. As you can see, we use the mainnet, but first we're going to do is expand view. Then, as you can see, we're in the Binance Smart Chain mainnet. We're going to select custom RPC. Network name, we're going to use BSC Backup. Since it's the alternative to the usual Binance Smart Chain mainnet. And what we're going to do is not use the first link that we always use, as you can see, .binance.org. Instead, we're going to add a network. So let's do this. The network name, once again, Binance Smart Chain Backup. The new RPC URL that we're going to use is not the one in the Binance Smart Chain, but instead we're going to use the second one, the defibit.io. We copy it, we paste it, and then the rest it's all the same just as the regular Binance Smart Chain. What this is going to do is uh, allow us to connect to this um, Binance Smart Chain through another port. So we just add the same chain ID which is 56, the currency symbol which is BNB for Binance token, and the Block Explorer URL which is optional it's again same as Binance Smart Chain, B BSCC scan.com we're going to save and as you can see now i'm connected to the new chain bsc backup let's see let's check our assets as you can see here in the main net i have all my assets bnb plants versus undead usdt crypto card world iron key and another tokens just like regular stuff Now we're going to check the PSC backup that we just made. And as you can see, we just switched to it. But again, BSC backup as we as I personally name it. But as you can see, all the assets are still the still there, the VMV, Plans vs Undead, the USDT, and everything. Now to show you guys like how this could change the transactions. Well, it doesn't really change anything. It's just the way you connect to the Binance Smart Chain. Let's see. Let's test by um, trying to trade some Binance USD dollars for um, Tether or USDT, as we know. So we're going to trade 5.1, 5 5.51 5 5 cents, $5 for 51 cents, 55 cents two four five dollars with 53 cents of binance usd let's confirm transaction is going on should be just a second anytime okay there it goes the usdt and there we go binance usd we got the five dollars and 54 cents you can see that in the Binance Smart Chain backup that we made, it changed. The value changed. And also for the main Binance Smart Chain mainnet, it also will change. Look. Same. 930 USDT. We can reload the page and there it is. Binance US stores. Uh, remember guys you can create as many backup um, connections that you as you want for example you can use the third one Ninicoin 
.eo, .io, or you can use any other of the backups. As you know, it's fairly easy. You just go to custom RPC. You just you do the same thing, but you just change the new RPC or URL for the one you want to use. And that will be it, guys. I hope this works for you. Um, lately, there's been so many issues with the traffic on the net for many games like Binary X or Crypto Mines, and I hope this works out for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, if it worked for you, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more co for more content. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Mono, and as always, I'll see you later.